Hi there, I'm Lisa, Lisa from Lollipop Box Club. Thank you for joining me today and welcome to my channel. I am I have a creative video for you today. Um, today I will be getting the paints out. I have got um, a stencil here. This is the stencil that comes in the August Lollipop Box Club kit. I am so happy with these stencils. I have a thing for sunshine. I just love yellow and love anything sunny. So um, I'm really pleased that we've got these in the kits designed by Jennifer from Happy Scatter. And I will be playing in my art journal. It's been a little while since the art journal's come out and I've had so many ideas and I've been really wanting to and I just haven't got around to the time to doing it. So um, today I am making the time. The idea is as well the design I've got or the artwork I've got in my head that I want to make in the art journal. Um, I will then reproduce or rather turn into postcards for the August kits and I then want to turn mine into a planner dashboard. So that's the plan. That's what I plan to do and let's get painting. So I've got the apron on and it's time to get messy. I've prepared this page already. I did this ages ago. It's just covered in gesso. Nothing clever about that, just um, messy gesso over the top. And I can now start painting. So I want to prepare a kind of sunny page. I'm going to do it this way up, I think. And I've got my stencil here. This is from the August kit, like I said. And I want to produce, um, create a very cloudy or rather sky background. Bits of cloud, lots of blue. And I'm going to have a sun ray on here. So I've got my Kaiser colour paints. And I've also got a piece of white card here. And I'm going to use the sun first. Let's do, the idea is then afterwards I'm going to cut it out. I might actually missed it. Yep, I'm going to go with missed, I think. I've got this one here, Distressed Stain, it's squeezed lemonade. And I just realised it's a brand new one. Okay, give it a bit of a shake. Let's see what colour this is. That looks nice. I will leave that to dry and I'll use that in a little while. I'm going to carry on now with my background and I've got some water and three different types of blue and I just want to create a kind of washed look. I've got to dip the paintbrush into water and I'm just going to paint all the way across my page happy for it to blend and run. I'm going to add a little bit of the darker colour here. I love these Kaiser colour paints. I really like it as well because I'm picking up the texture from the painted gesso underneath as well. There you go. A little bit of the paler blue. different direction to add a bit more interest. There we go. I've got a baby wipe here which I'm going to press over the top. I'm going to let that absorb some of the moisture because it's quite a wet page. And take that up and then go back over in places. Ah! Didn't go so well, did it? I quite like those blodges. Got blue fingers now. Um, let's do a little bit more of this one. Um, I'll just soak up some of that again. And let's do this one. And I want it to be quite a nice vibrant colour. I like the effect by pressing it down is creating. And I'm just going to add a bit more of 
this one. And there, I've got some really nice patterns going on there. Let's throw that away. And I'll just show you how that's looking so far. I need this to dry now before I can create my clouds. There's my sunshine. It's quite wet at the moment, so I'm going to go over both pieces with the heat gun and then I'm able to cut the sunshine out. I'm back with my sky and I'm back with my sunshine which is still a little on the wet side so I'm going to carry on now with my clouds. I am going to paint some clouds. I've decided to have the sun peering out behind the clouds so I think we're going to have it like over there somewhere and we're going to have a cloud in the middle and a cloud over to one side. I think that will work quite well. Let's paint. Now the lovely thing with doing this kind of thing, if you really don't like it, you can paint over it. So don't get yourself stressed that it's awful or that you have to get it spot on first time or that it's going to be ruined because if it's really, really not to your liking, just go over it a bit more blue paint yeah so don't panic it's all about enjoying and having fun anyway nobody needs to see your art journal if you don't want them to it doesn't have to go on display anywhere it's just for you to have fun and experiment with have another one down there it's supposed to be a relaxation time that's what I like about this kind of thing it's pure escapism play with your lovely paints and your supplies and just relax and let go. There we go. A bit more of a definition to that one there. Okay, now where is my sun going to go? I think I need to do this. I'm going to get the sun cut out next, I think, before I do any more. It's still a little bit on the drippy side, so I'm going to give it a go. I am going to leave a white line going around it. I do like a bit of a white border. So I'm going to attempt to do this. And again, worst comes to worst, if you really don't like it, it's a piece of paper. Just start again. I'm going to continue with this. It's a bit fiddly because I'm being very impatient and I haven't let it dry properly. Got my sunshine. There it is where I've cut it out. And the I've used my messy paintball that I always use underneath, but it's gone quite wet. And the previous paint's gone through just slightly, so I may well just touch that up afterwards. But I am going to... Where shall I pop that? I might just pop that down here, actually because I've got some wording that I'm going to do there. So I'm going to carry on letting that dry and work on the wording. I'm now going to work on the wording, which is going to go at the top there, and I'm going to have you are my sunshine. I've got some white card and a pencil. You do not need the best handwriting for this. You're going to start off quite plain. Let's see, is that going to be too big? No, that's fine. I'm going to do... You are, we're going to be cutting them out, my, and then sunshine, which I think I might have along there. The idea is they will all become joined up. So now I've got my rough words and I'm just going to continue going over. with my pencil and each time extending a little bit so each time I'm adding a little bit more on to thicken the letters create tails so that they become more and more joined up and the idea is afterwards that I will be able to cut them out and use on the page so right now it's becoming thicker which will make it easier for me to cut out so we have gone from that to that just by simply keep going over 
and adding a little bit more each time. I'm going to do the same, adding a little bit of a tail each time and each time the letters are becoming thicker it's making them move closer and closer together which gives them that effect that they're joined up. I'll keep going here and then I'm going to go over with my black pen. It's all coming along really nicely. I have finished the lettering with the pencil and I'm now going to go over with my favourite black journal pen and I will just simply again keep going over and over over the pencil lines and just giving it a little bit of shape as I do that as well and it's just a really really easy way of forming some lettering you can use this as I am in your art journal you can also do it on your scrapbooking pages you can do it on canvases you can do it wherever you like it's um it's just a really fun way it's very therapeutic as well a bit like art journaling so there you have it I've gone over quite roughly and rather quickly as you can see and I'm just going to show you this word now that's the word you so I can cut that out I'm going to go over a little bit of pencil mark I don't plan for it to be perfect I like the fact that it's not but obviously all those little white bits you can color right in I'm going to go through and continue with the rest of those words now. So the words are now all coloured in in black and I've got a little pair of scissors that I'm going to go through and cut them out. So I've cut the wording out, it's just laid at the moment, nothing's actually stuck down and I'm now going to stick this in place. I've got some 3D foam tape that I'm going to use for my sunshine. I've decided to stick it on with these and the wording I'm going to stick on with PVA glue. So this should be dry now, I can see it's just a little bit wet in a couple of places. And I'm going to stick this, I think I'll do every other, actually let's stick that one across there, and then I'll just pop it in place. My page is looking like this, that one needs sticking down. I'm just going to just dab a little bit in the middle there. So it's not quite so white and then my page is done. I'm going to photograph this then and use it as postcards for the kit, for the August kit. There. I've really enjoyed making this. I hope you've enjoyed watching me. It's really easy to make and you could even cut that out and use it um, on a frame or something like that. Like I said, I'm going to turn these into postcards and these um, I'm then going to use mine as a planner dashboard. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much and I shall see you soon. Bye!